Okay, so we are ready to create operations on of the second setup. It will be really quick. So first of all, I will make uh, grooving ID grooving. So I choose lathe ID. Uh, sorry, not grooving roughing. Yeah, that's it. So change my job assignment. Let's go to the job assignment tab here. So like I did in the previous ID roughing operation, I will change the direction. So uh, I think that's basically it. Maybe we need to change a little bit the uh, these parameters. Make it like more beautiful and even. That's good. Reset run. So we obviously have a problem here. Let's go to the simulation reset and calculate it up to current operation and press run. And you can see that, yes, we have a problem with uh, our return because by default, the return is taken from the machine. As you remember that we have changed return rule in this ID, uh, ID roughing operation uh, on our first setup. So I will take it the same and paste it right, like, right here and uh, recalculate the toolpath. Let's say what we have, let's check. So recalculate, simulate up to current. Okay, now we don't have any problems. Okay, next I will make a uh, face grooving. We also need to adjust the job assignment. Let's move it from here to here and move it from here like this. Reset run. Okay, you can see that Spritcam has chosen the appropriate tool by default automatically. So press run on, cal on simulation. So everything looks fine now. So the last and uh, more interesting part is we need to make some milling here. So I will create new operation 2D contouring. So in order to define the job assignment, I need to turn on the geometry model visibility. So as we did it for all milling operations, so please make sure that you have enabled it and also enable select faces and select edges buttons here. So make it look like this. <clears throat> okay. So next I will select this face and tell Sprutcan that this is the curve. So it, tell, it takes the curve from this, this face. You can see it already. Next I will define this surface as my top level and this edge as my bottom level. Okay, next I will go to uh, parameters, uh, sorry, to strategy. And here I will move my bottom level a little bit like this. And I will also change depth of cut from 100 millimeter to three uh, passes. Okay, I calculated the toolpath, looks nice. So I also will go for transformation. Okay, and let's turn on multiply toolpath by axis, define uh, the axis we are going to make uh, multiplication along. So here we can see that we have already have some multiplication along X axis. I don't need this, so I will change it to C. Okay, and I will change the step. It will be 60 degrees and count will be six. Okay, and reset run. Let's check what we have here. Go to simulation, press reset, simulate up to current. Okay, we can see our machining result and press run. Okay, that looks looks nice. But in case by default you don't have an, uh, you don't have such a result and you have uh, your y axis error and the the, the Sprutcam is not using uh, rot um, polar coordinates, so you can turn it manually here. Rotary transformation polar coordinates. Let's recalculate. Okay, looks different already. Yes, so uh, what I'm going, I'm going to use these polar coordinates, 
but what we can see here is that we need to optimize it a little bit so don't be afraid of this my result by the way is because i have selected flat uh, simulation in my this setting so i will use it use normal one now so simulate up to current let's check what we can change so polar coordinates are fine but the transitions are not so good so first of all in order to eliminate these uh, runs i will change the direction of uh, multiplication so in order to do this i will change this to minus 60 degrees let's reset run yeah you can see now we have normal transitions let's check what happens in simulation Okay, so and if you want, you also can change this transition between levels of the machining. Now it has uh, it retracts to some safe plane. So in order to change this, I can make it like this. So let's go to job assignment, back to job assignment, and I will define uh, using my interactive elements some. Uh, some engage and retract rules so i will turn off the machine visibility because it i don't need it here so in using this little uh, square i will drag it and to use it, move it like this for example let's say 2.5 millimeter run and now i can change um, i can change the uh, transitions not through uh, safe plane but around workpiece let's see what we have okay so now it's around workpiece let's reset workpiece calculate up to current and see how it looks like okay so, uh, of course, we need to make a, a bigger radius in order not to make the tool to go too close to the to the part. Yes. So, in case you need you want, yeah, this is not not very good. So, no problem. I go to job assignment. Okay, and adjust this to bigger uh, bigger radius for example 4.5 so if you want you can do this always of course it's optional but in some case sorry let's calculate up to current operation but in some cases it is quite useful so now it's better i believe let's check yeah now it's something that we want okay okay that's basically it so uh, let's check the result machining result so it's almost fine of course here we have a red area because we don't have a thread on our 3d model but all other areas are fine of course here we have some blue area because we have some radius uh, obviously this is also acceptable but all other options all other areas are fine so our project is finished so in order to finish this lesson i will turn on the simulation from the beginning so i choose my uh, machine here which is the beginning of the process press reset the workpiece make sure that i have machining result visibility turned on everything else turned off here and press run that's it so explore sprut cam try to do some other mill turn projects and good luck in sprut cam exploration.